know about you, but I love demographics. You're looking like, what kind of a crazy person loves demographics? Well, I love the fact that they're incredibly predictable. They make you seem so smart. And in our unpredictable times that we live in, it's nice to know that you can count on something happening. And this really does give us a window into the future. So let's open that window and look at what's happened over the last 50 years. Now, if we go back in time, follow that orange bar, by the way, that's where we see the population growth over the last 50, 60 years and into the future, too. If you were in the baby food business or the diaper business back in the 1950s, you were in the right place at the right time. Back in the 1960s, anything to do with teenagers, right place, right time. Jeans business, uh, acne medication, record business, fantastic opportunities. Into the 1970s and the 1980s, young family formations, anything to do with that would have been good business. And then we started to see a shift into that so-called second half of life. And look at today. Today we begin to see that we are no longer a youth population, and in some people's minds, not even a midlife population. We are becoming a older population. The very sort of center of gravity of our country is moving out. And if you think, by the way, that this is an anomaly, let's look into the future. It's huge. So, you might say, as the diaper business was to the 1950s, the financial services industry will be for today and the future. It is a huge opportunity.